Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I am laying in my bed and a thought came to me about married couples. Listen, when you think of getting married or when you think of staying married, remember this. Marriage is not just holy matrimony, which is what we call it. Marriage is ministry. Many of us miss that. That's one of the main core central aims of marriage. It is ministry. Remember this phrase, say it in your mind, marriage is ministry. It's not about me. It's about us. So the wife is to minister to the husband and the husband is to minister to the wife. Now, you don't just minister sexually, you don't just minister affectionately, even though you are to minister affection, and you are to make love and, and enjoy and bask yourself in, in love, but you are to edify one another, encourage one another, you are not to put each other down and criticize one another in a way that sucks the life out of you? Listen, many of you know what it feels like to have a car that's just been detailed. Listen to this analogy. When you get the car detailed, what do you do? You make sure the, the finishing touch is the wax job, isn't it? When you do a wax job, do you wax it with that real soft buffing uh, material that brings about a beautiful, brilliant shine? Or do you wax your car with Brillo, sandpaper? Think about it. If you want your car to look its best, to shine, and you can take pride in how beautiful that car looks. You cannot polish anything with an abrasive material. The same way many of you would love to see your, your, your better half or your worst half, however you see it. You'd love to see them grow and improve and and really beautify and become more more of the person you were always hoping they would be or the person you may have thought you married when you first got married. You cannot uh, be abrasive. You, your words cannot be cutting and, and, and snide and full of m malice if you want to bring about a shine. With a shine, you have to be tender. You have to handle with care. When you polish that bad boy, you got to make sure you have the right material. Love, tenderness, kindness, meekness, understanding, patience. Mmm, 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 mmm. <laughs> You have really, really got to be careful about how you approach issues with one another. Do you have the other one convinced that they're the best choice you could have made? Do you make them feel like they are your priceless treasure? Or do you make them feel like they are a ball and chain around your neck? Like, you could actually have a life if it wasn't for them being in the way. How do you make them feel? Okay. I just thought I'd put that tidbit in there. The Lord gave me that example. You cannot polish anything with abrasion. Don't be so abrasive. 
with your words, with your attitudes, with your actions. Mm. Edify, beautify, glorify. Call those things that are not as though they are. Use God's example. God didn't call Gideon the coward that he was hiding away. No, he called him mighty man of God. <laughs> Speak those things into, in love with, use, oh, how can I say this? Say what you want to say in love. If someone doesn't do something in a way that you think they could have, you could say something like, you know, maybe you could try doing it like that. It might have a better result. Well, you could try it anyway. That way you're not telling why do you always have to do it like that. Anyway, I'm going to stop, but I just want you to think, marriage is ministry. Let's minister to one another. God bless you.